Hey everybody, Spaz here, and this is a special Mental as Anything edition of CD Junkie. Um, I had recorded this in February, and I posted it, and it was episode number three. Sadly, on December 2nd, 2019, Andrew Greedy Smith of Mental as Anything died of a heart attack. I wanted to repost this video just sort of in tribute to the band and in tribute to um, Greedy. But I figured I already did it. Uh, so what I did is I went back and I adjusted sort of the video quality so my face didn't look as purple. Um, but uh, please enjoy this. There's only been one Mental as Anything album that's come out since that video. Uh, and that's a, a compilation called Surf and Mole and Sex and Fun. And that's available on both vinyl and CD now. So you can check that out. But this uh, video is uh, in tribute to Greedy and dedicated to all the members of Mental as Anything. So here is the original CD Junkie Episode 3, a Mental as Anything. Hey everybody, Spaz here, and I'm a CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to discuss one of my favorite bands of all time, Mental as Anything, from Australia. I've been into this band for nearly 40 years, and they've existed for about 42, 43 years. But the way I got into Mental as Anything is I was into the Jam, the Clash, Buzzcocks, the Records, Brom Tchaikovsky, Madness, all those kind of bands back in 1979, 1980. And then I discovered this book. Well, it had Madness on the front. The book was called The New Music and... It was penned by Glenn A. Baker, who was an Australian music journalist. And of course, I bought it because a lot of my favorite bands were featured in it. So I figured I'd be able to discover something new uh, with some of the other bands featured. And there was a section on Australian music. And Mental as Anything were mentioned and described. And of course, I was immediately intrigued but there was nothing available domestically. But one day I'm at Tower Records on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood and I stumble across the vinyl version of their debut album, Get Wet. And I fell in love with the band. Uh, Martin Plaza, just one of the greatest voices in rock and roll. He's He also plays guitar. Greedy Smith has that great voice that's sort of somewhere, you know, getting close to like Glenn Tilbrook, maybe not as high but that sort of throaty pop voice that is wonderful and he can wrap his 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 tonsils around a tune and he can write a great tune too. Uh, Peter Doherty on bass and vocals, Reg Mombasa on guitar and vocals, and David Tuhill, also known as Wayne Delisle, also known as Bird, on drums. The great band. So after this album, which features The Nips Are Getting Bigger, one of their biggest hits, comes Espresso Bongo, their second album. Uh, sonically, it's an extension of Get Wet uh, and uh, basically treads the same musical ground, but it does feature great songs like uh, Come Around and Missing Plane and some other great stuff. Troop Movements in the Ukraine is another great song. So the next album was the one that was going to make or break them. It was the one that was going to either send them to the top of the charts or straight down into obscurity. And guess what? Sent them to the top of the charts. Cats and Dogs is the name of that album. And it is fabulous. This is the album with If You Leave Me Can I Come To, uh, Too Many Times, um, Let's Cook, Berserk Warriors, lots of great stuff. This album was such a success in Australia that they decided to take most of the tracks, remix a few of them, uh, add some remixed older tracks, and release the If You Leave Me Can I Come To album in the U.S. This album has not been released on CD, but you can uh, find all the tracks on some of the CDs I'm talking about now. So next came the Creatures of Leisure album, which continued along the same lines as Cats and Dogs. This is really where the Squeeze and Nick Lowe side of Rock Pile so really, really came to fruition. I mean, it's just straightforward, great pop. Uh, the thing about this record, this is the Australian version, features two Martin Plaza sung tracks, uh, Space to Let and Not Enough. Neither of those were released in the U.S. Instead, they took those songs and added a couple others, but I will discuss those in just a few moments, and you'll know why I'm skipping it right now. Next up, they needed to go global. They needed to be commercial sensation all over the world, and they was thrown into the studio with producer Richard Goderer, who added more of a synth keyboard sound and some 
processed drums and and made a commercial sounding record now a commercial for 1984 85 uh, and that is called fundamental as anything uh, the album was originally released with just a red cover and it said fundamental as anything uh, but this album features the huge hit Live It Up, which was big everywhere thanks to the Crocodile Dundee soundtrack. But there's also You're So Strong, Bus Ride, uh, Surf and Mullen, Sex and Fun, lots of great stuff. Mental as anything, Fundamental was a commercial breakthrough, not only in Australia, but in other countries. Now, the first five albums that I just discussed there can be found on the Mental Collection Volume 1, came out in the UK. This features those five albums in mini LP sleeves. Now, the album that I talked about a little while ago, Creatures of Leisure, this version in this box is the international track listing, which features the songs that were on the American version as well. So they're slightly different uh, version of the Creatures of Leisure album here that a fan is going to want the Australian version and the version that comes in this box set. Now, they continued along that commercial path, maybe adding a little more uh, keyboards, mouth to mouth, another try up for the band. Again, commercial. You got Greedy's songs and Martin's songs and 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 Reg's songs and Peter's songs. You know, not many bands out there had four very strong singer songwriters in the same band, and it wouldn't last forever. But for the time being, Mental as Anything were one of the greatest bands on the planet. Uh, this is I actually own two versions because they have slightly different track listings. Yeah, nerd alert. Uh, then the next album, they sort of toned down that overproduction, the glossy sound for the Cyclone Raymond album, which is not a very attractive cover when you really look at it, but it's very unique, uh, just like the band. Uh, here is the track listing there for that album. Another fine, fine, fine collection of songs. And that was released in, I believe, 89. Uh, and then the band went on sabbatical. And they didn't uh, reemerge until 1994, I think. So about five years off. And they released an EP called Bicycle uh, that they sold at uh, concerts. And this featured uh, a handful of new tracks. Mine's autographed. Uh, not bragging, but it is autographed. Uh, but this earned them more interest. Uh, so they signed with the label, took those songs, added some more recorded the same sessions, and released Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire. And that's another fine album. And that was 95, I think. I'm sorry if I'm slightly off of the dates. I'm only off by a year or two. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read the backs. Uh, and then uh, in 1997, uh, of course, you know they went on tour and they released the Minus Bonus EP, which is similar to the um, Bicycle EP I showed you just a few moments ago. And that's followed up by the album garage and up until this time you know it's the same five guys but in 2000 in the year 2000 reg mambasa and uh peter o'doherty left the band and that left um uh martin greedy and dave as the original members uh and then they released beetroot stains which was stylistically different but uh, uh still a great mentals album i mean how can you go wrong with Martin Plaza and Greedy Smith in the same band? I mean, you know, I mean, you of course you can add Reg and Peter. Uh, but anyway, then they followed it up with uh, Plucked, which was acoustic versions of um, classic Mentals tracks. Reg comes back and makes an appearance on that release. And that's followed up by Road Case another fine album and these are all spaced a couple years apart uh the band spends a lot of time touring uh, by this time dave two hill is gone so the only original members are martin and greedy and after a long amount of time they finally went back in the studio and released tense up which in my opinion is the best album they re released after reg and peter quit this is an essential addition to any collection now in 2017 with just martin and greedy in the band they released the five track ep mental as anything and that features a few tracks by each of the band members there and martin has been dealing with health issues so he's no longer a touring member of the band the band did just release a live album which i do not own a copy of yet uh so i apologize for not being able to feature that so on top of those studio albums there are also some collections uh, of of note 
Greatest Hits Volume 1. It's a very optimistic album title. And that features uh, a couple non-album singles, as well as um, other hits and album tracks. Then there was Chemical Travel, which featured non-album tracks, as well as deep album cuts. And that is a great collection. And then finally, Essential as Anything uh, was a CD and DVD collection. Now that's all I have for Mental as Anything. There's probably a couple other compilations out there that I don't own, but it's basically similar track listings. And I also have a stack of CD singles, but I won't go through those, but all those feature non-album tracks. Now let's get into some of the solo projects by various members of Mental as Anything. The first two members to leave were Reg Mombasa and Peter O'Doherty, and they formed a band called Dog Trumpet. Now they did Dog Trumpet during the sabbaticals, but they decided to leave in the year 2000 in order to focus on their art. Uh, both of them are incredible artists, by the way, as well as their music. And this is just a sample of some of the things that they've released here. Uh, I've got a couple EPs. This is Strange Brew. Yes, the cream song. Uh, and then Kiss a Gun Down has five non-album tracks. Then you've also got the debut album, which is fantastic and wonderful. And uh, let me see here. Suitcase and self-titled and antisocial tendencies. River of Flowers. And then finally, their most recent album is Medicated Spirits, which is a two-CD set, all original great tracks. And there it is right there. Definitely check that out. Martin Plaza has done some solo work. The Plaza Suite album came out right after the Fundamental Is Anything album, and that actually is very similar uh, music-wise. Uh, then he put out a benefit single, called Labor of Love, which is a wonderful song. He put out Andy's Chest, which is his tribute to Lou Reed. And then he formed a band called Beatfish with James Freud from The Models, if anybody remembers The Models. That's a real dancey project. Here is their version of Get Together, which is great. And he made an appearance on the Stetson album, singing sort of a bluegrass country version of the Beatles' I've Just Seen a Face, and that's fantastic. Um, he may have more stuff out there. Unfortunately, it's, Australian stuff is very difficult to get uh, here in the U.S. But finally, let's talk about Greedy. Greedy Smith. Uh, he was in a band called Greedy's on the Loose, and that was his solo project, uh, I think, during the first sabbatical. Uh, but the tapes were either lost or destroyed, uh, damaged somehow, so they never came out. Uh, but he did put out a solo album called Love Harmonica, which was... Very low-key and wonderful. Lots of great songs on there. Uh, a couple singles from that album right here. Uh, and then he went back and re-recorded the whole album with a new band called Greedy's People. And on that album, he also covered The Carpenters, uh, Close to You, and um, Nielsen's Everybody's Talking, which was actually a Fred Neal song. Uh, but you know what? That is absolutely it. That's all I have. I'm sure I'm missing a lot. I hope that this inspires you to go out and buy some Mental as Anything music because they are definitely worth your time. And uh, definitely support the band. You can go to their website, Mental as Anything. If you want to find out more about the band, you can also go to Wikipedia or, or you can go to YouTube and type in Mental as Anything and you will be faced with a plethora of gems to watch and listen to. But that is it. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me for a little while. My name is Spaz. And I'm a CD junkie.